So nowadays, um, so you started on uh, Red Hat, uh, Red Hat Linux. What are you actually using nowadays? Your like daily driver. My daily driver. So I'm on Arco Linux B. Uh huh. I really am a fan of Eric Dubois' work. Um, and I use his i3 window manager. I'm getting ready to. I, the what I was going to try it was the Hyperland. Mm -hmm. His i his Hyperland version. And oh. uh, I haven't tried it yet, but I really, I really like his work. I like the completeness of it. Mm -hmm. And to be honest with you, his, his, the, the dot config files, the dot files are pretty much what I put in mine mm -hmm. when I've done it in the past. So, so it's like, I don't have to carry a library over, mm -hmm. you know, of dot files, you know, right. it's pretty, pretty complete. When you look at his dot files, they're, they're pretty complete. You know, he's added stuff in there you know mm -hmm. i mean in mm -hmm. fact i'd say he's added a lot of stuff too much stuff mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying but um, i mean i, I... But you, you were saying before about uh looking up videos to like just find things speaking of people that you can look up things and find things eric has way too many videos on things going oh. on with arco oh uh, uh yeah I, I think he's up to like what four thousand videos or some something like that i don't know i, I think he puts out a video a day yeah, he puts out a video a day. No, he puts out like six videos a day. <laughs> Some days. Is it six videos a day? Some days. Uh, so, Are you serious? Let's see. Past 24 hours, we've had one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, six videos. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that man just eats, breathes, and sleeps Arco. Yeah. Linux. yeah. <laughs> That's why it's so complete, I guess. It's so thorough. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, have you looked at some of his dot files? Like, I know I haven't. His I3... Go look at his i3 config file. Uh, we should be able to find... If I look up Arco Linux... Or PSPWM file, would any of them, man. Look at They're all the same. Uh, Arco Linux dash i3... Is this it? Ah, here it is. Okay, yep. Cool. I found the GitHub. Uh... Yeah. Okay, Look key, at that thing. Key definition is to remember. Okay. You're scrolling for days. He's got stuff in there that you don't ever... Nobody really uses it, but it's still in there. You know what I mean? Yeah, a lot of stuff is just commented out if you want to use it. Yeah, exactly. Wow. Yeah, exactly. There's different iterations of the same command, like your audio settings. Yeah. You know, these play CTL or Diva send. Yeah. Yeah, what? he covers every base in there. Jesus. I mean, it's amazing. I mean, it it it's it is single-handedly one of the largest config files I've ever looked at mm -hmm. ever. Ever. I was like, "Wow." Well, if I need to you recommend know? someone at a default config, I might just send them to this from now on. Absolutely. It's it's guaranteed to cover everything. <laughs> every I mean, he's got everything in there. Everything in there. Does he fix his bash RC files the same way? You should check out his bash RC file. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, uh, let's have a look. I I can't even. I don't even want to imagine what the bash RC is going to look like. <laughs> he should, he's got aliases for everything, man. You should uh, check it out, man. <laughs> uh, I think this is it. Uh, wait, no, this is. Oh, wait, no, this might be it. Okay, here you go. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I just started scrolling. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Wait, and he's got like seven different iterations of the same alias for some of them. Yep. Key fix. Key dash fix. Keys fix. Fix key. Even, fix keys. He's even got misspelled, the most common misspelled aliases in there. Oh misspelling for aliases. Like update with like uh, without the P in it or something. It's like U date or something like that. Oh, he's also got at the bottom where it like runs NeoFetch. He's got like twelve different other tools yeah, you can use in place of NeoFetch. All of them. Yeah. I've not even. I've like looked at a lot of this stuff. I've not even heard of some of these. What in the world is? I'm Ulsi? telling you. I'm saying. I'm telling you. That's what I was saying. What is? What is? What? Okay. Sure. <laughs> Sure. That's what I'm saying. Seriously, that's why that's one of the reasons why I like Arco is because like he has everything that I would use in there. It's just easy, just uncommented. Mm. You know what I mean? And and you're good to go. I'm like, like 
I'm personally not a fan of having a bunch of aliases that I didn't make myself, just because I don't think you'll ever remember oh, them. I, know. I get rid of I, when I set mine up. I get rid of a lot of those. Mm. I, you know, I yank them out. You know what I'm saying? I yank them out and get rid of them. Yeah. But I mean, it's just, it's just to me, it's easier instead of typing it all, just sure, yank sure. it out. You know what I mean? No, that's fair. So I get that. When I when I saw his when I saw his configs, I'm like, that's what I'm using. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's that's my template, and then I'm just customizing it to my own. You mm -hmm. know. So you said there was a Hyperland version as well, did you? Didn't you? Yeah, I think he's got a Hyperland version as well. Uh, You're thinking, hmm, let me check this out. Yeah, no, I want to see what he's done in here. Uh, Hyperland desktop. No, I want to see the actual config. Uh, I can't find it as easily this time. No, this is... No, that's that's the ISO itself. Uh, Hyperland config? Is that going to find it? My Hyperland... Oh. No, that's someone else's setup. Uh, it, there, there is a Hyperland ISO. I'm just not sure where the config is. It, it's got to, it will be somewhere on the GitHub. It's got to be somewhere, yeah. I'll, I'll see if I can find it afterwards. Yeah, just look, just look, you know, go do a little deep dive on that later on. I mean, I'm telling you, the man is th thorough mm -hmm. at best, man. He's thorough. And, you know, it's so, like I said, you know, that's, that's what my daily driver is, and that's why I use it. Mm -hmm. You know, it's easy to set up. I just cut out what I don't need and I'm good to go because it's other than that, it is what I've always done, you know? Mm -hmm.